by Tonya. Now, they brought us IKEA and Scandi Noir, and now a new Swedish fitness craze has reached British shores. Yeah, plogging or picking litter while jogging is gaining momentum in the UK, as Greg Dawson reports. In many ways, it looks like any other weekend fitness routine. You'll need a pair of these. A warm-up will help. It is February. But don't forget to pick up one of these. And maybe this will come in handy too. Plogging, or plucking and jogging, first gained popularity in Sweden, but it's quickly caught on around the world, from the beaches of Australia to the pavements of India and here in the parks of South East London. I like running. I like doing stuff in the community. I like finding places that I didn't know existed. Like, I didn't know this park was here, even though I live in the area. I've never been here before. So I think it does two things. It helps me to get fit and helps me to find out more about where I live. And that I enjoy. Ivo Gormley is the founder of Good Gym, which runs plogging sessions and other community activities across the UK. We've been getting hundreds of new people uh, signing up. Every time you go for a run, you're likely to um, pass by somewhere where there is some fly tipping going on. You're likely to pass by the, the house of someone who's isolated and lonely. Every time you're running for your community, there are things that need doing, and actually you can combine that with your exercise. This is about far more than just running, though. As we know, a lot of our litter ends up in the waterways, which means that the ploggers end up in waders. And it's not just helping the environment, but also potentially the public purse. Clearing litter costs local authorities more than £700 million a year in England alone. This local level volunteering coincides with a growing momentum nationally to cut waste. Following the popularity of the BBC's Blue Planet series, which highlighted the damage plastic is causing to our oceans, the Scottish Parliament announced plans to ban plastic straws. And the royal family has even backed efforts to reduce single-use plastics on Britain's royal estates. Does it ever frustrate you when you're litter picking you see the state of some of the parks and some of the waterways? Um, I suppose it is a bit frustrating, but uh, especially because this is my local park, I live just around the corner. But um, it's good that so many people are willing to give up their Saturday mornings to clean up the parks and rivers and to get involved, yeah. get involved and join the community. With that sense of making a small difference to a bigger problem, plogging offers much more than just a strenuous workout. Greg Dawson, BBC News, South East London. It'd be, qu be quite good for your biceps as well as your legs, wouldn't it? Because you know, you, by the time you get home, you've got two heavy bin bags. Not good for your back. Um, and then you know you've had a bit of a run. Although if you're in a, you know, if the park's full of litter, mm. you'd never break a sweat, would no. you? <laughs> <laughs> Another crisp packet. Well, yeah. Don't know what that is. But um, it goes. The weather for running today, I'm not quite sure about that, Sarah Keith Lucas. We have had a bit of sunshine, which has been lovely over the last couple of days.